I'm in boot camp. Home keeping boot camp. And Fly Lady Cat is the drill sergeant. She's instructing us to go through our daily routines, our weekly plans, our zone cleanings, all those things that we normally do, that we usually do every day, but she's making sure that we get to it and get through it. These aren't anything that we don't usually do on a day-to-day -day basis, but what she wants us to be doing right now is making sure that these routines have become a habit so that as we move into the holiday season, we don't have to worry about homekeeping as one of our anxieties. Every now and then, we may forget to do one of our tasks, but that better not happen during the month of October because if it does, we're gonna be assigned to KP. KP is not kitchen police, it's cat punishment, and we won't even talk about that. So every night, at the end of completing all of our routines, we're supposed to send her a report. And that report is just a simple thumbs up emoji or a thumbs down. If we have to send a thumbs down, we get KP. And I am not about to get KP, so I have definitely been on my P's and Q's. And like I said, her goal is that we are in good shape and very comfortable doing our routines so that we can easily prepare for the holidays. And you know what? I want the same for all of you. So I thought this would be a good time for me to tell you just about the most important lessons that I've learned from Fly Lady Cat. I thought I would revisit a video that I had done several months ago where I gave you guys seven lessons that I learned from Fly Lady Cat, but only tonight we're only going to look at three of them. The number one lesson that she talks about, at least that I've learned from her, is pick it up, don't pass it up. Now, what does that mean? That means when you're walking around your home and you see something lying down, you see something that's out of place, pick it up and put it where it belongs. How often do you pass an item that's out of place and you leave it there? Things can be out of place in our home for so long that we become blind to them. We just don't see them. There can be a pile of stuff over there and we don't see it, or a pile of stuff sitting on that chair and we don't notice it. It just becomes a part of the decor. So one of the things you wanna make sure you're doing is your daily clutter stops. A clutter stop in the morning, in the afternoon, and before you go to bed. What's a clutter stop? It's when you remove the things from the clutter magnets in your home. What's a clutter magnet? Well, typically it's a flat surface, like a table, like a railing, like a chair, but somewhere where people can easily just put stuff down and forget all about it. But if you're doing your clutter stops every morning, every afternoon, and before bed, checking to make sure that those places where people tend to like to drop things are free and clear, that will help to make your house be a lot more clutter free. If there's piles you've been avoiding tackling, make a plan to tackle one of those piles every day. After you've gotten your morning routine done, decide you'll tackle the pile of clutter on that chair. It shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. The next day, maybe you'll tackle the pile of clutter in the corner. What you want to do is plan to tackle one pile of that clutter every day, but not so much that you overwhelm yourself. Just one pile or one task that shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. So lesson number two that was really, really important to me from Fly Lady Cat is that there is no plain catch up. So let's say you're feeling pretty overwhelmed your house is at sixes and sevens. You've got so much to do. And your question is, where do I start? Just step into your routines. Do your daily swishing of the toilet and wiping down of the sinks and the mirrors in the bathroom. Take care of your weekly plan and any zone cleaning. Just step into your routines and start where you are. If you were supposed to work on zone two last week, and you didn't get to it, and now it's time for zone three, oh well. 
Forget about zone two, it'll come around again, and go ahead and start on zone three. Just step in where you are. If it's Monday, do your weekly home blessing. If it's Tuesday and it's your free day, take the day off. Wednesday, do the planning that you need to do, but step in where you are. And don't allow yourself to be disappointed or depressed because you didn't get this or that done. Remember, there's no pouring on ketchup. And then lesson number three from Fly Lady Cat is you can't organize clutter. All you're doing is moving it around. If you have too much stuff, and I must admit, I am certainly one who has too much stuff, you got to declutter first and then organize. You cannot organize clutter. If you don't have a place to put it, if you don't have a home for it, if there's nowhere for it to go, you've got too much stuff and you've got to declutter. I know, I know my husband is thinking, you got a lot of nerve. Well, yeah, we got a lot of stuff and I'm working on it as well as he is working on his stuff as well. But you can't organize clutter. All you can do if you've got too much stuff is move it around from one place to another. Who wants to do that? You don't want to have to handle the same piece of clutter two, three, and sometimes four times. Declutter, declutter, declutter. To check out the whole episode of Seven Lessons Learned from Fly Lady Cat, check out the link in the description box. And I encourage you to check out Fly Lady Cat herself. I will link her channel in the description box as well. She does a live stream and uploads a video every week. And you will be glad you did. And for more homekeeping inspiration, click here.